Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Matt from the Top Chat Podcast. Uh, just interjecting before you listen to this week's podcast, I want to apologise for once again some uh, rather annoying technical errors or issues that we had this week. There's a kind of an annoying echo on a lot of our speaking. Uh, we're not sure why. We did several tests before actually recording because we're you know, we're still a relatively new podcast and we're we're trying to change things up each week and, and, and always better ourselves. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to, to be panning out quite as we'd hope right now, but um, it's not too, hopefully it's not too bad where you won't want to listen to it at all. But um, yeah, I thought I'd just get in, get in quickly now and just apologise for the technical issues. Hopefully, I know I said this last week, hopefully this is the last week of the technical issues, but just bear with us. And next week will sound lovely and crystal clear and it will sound like we're in the room with you. Anyway, enjoy. Hello everyone, welcome to week eight of Top Chat Games. Is that what we call it? Or is it just Top Chat? It's Top Chat Podcast, isn't it? Top Chat Games, the podcast. Um... Yeah, I don't know. We need to work on that. I do. Well, I've... I think we just keep on changing it on every single thing. The Twitter, Twitter is Top Chat Podcast. So... I prefer just Top Chat, to be honest. It's a gaming podcast called Top Chat. And Deal it f- with it. Well. And yeah, <laughs> and it features us. Hello, my name is Matt, and joining me, as always, is my good friend and co-host with his uh, delightful curtains this week. It's Joe, everyone. All right, mate. All right, mate. Very good. Um, this week, we're going to be talking about. Rumours in games and stuff, aren't we? We and, are. Um, how are they a good thing, or are they a bad thing, or can they be both? They could be. Can they be either? Let's sit or... on the fence. Let's sit on the nice, spiky, painful fence. Yeah. Um, don't know why it has to be painful. Um, what have you been playing this week, mate? I've actually been playing quite a lot this week. Have you? The I opposite have. to me. Oh, who would have guessed is, that? Yeah, it's always the case. I, well, I'll go first. Um, even though I asked you, um, yeah, I've been playing more Odyssey. I'm getting there. I think you came in my room again the other night when I was mid sesh, and I showed you the amount of map I have uh, remaining, as well as the never ending list of quests that I had to complete. So, I mean, you've you've got uh, an inkling to to what I'm going through. You've seen it now. I have. I think I would have been out long ago. Yeah, I think. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, I'm in a weird place with it at the moment, where it's kind of like I've enjoyed. I love it. I love the game. It's the best Assassin's Creed game, and I'm 81-ish hours in, 82, whatever it is now. But I do just want to finish it, and I've, yeah. and I don't know if that's because for most of January and February, I've not really touched it. I've been so busy with just other stuff that I've not really touched it, and then. It's not that I've lost interest, but I've kind of I'm not as attached to it as I maybe was pre Christmas or you know early January or whatever. Well, that's the thing as well. Need, games yeah. are too big. Some of them games are too. That's big. That's why I've never um, gone into Witcher Three, just because I know that it's hundreds yeah. of hours and mm. I'm probably not going to finish it. Well, you know, you made a, a top opinion recently, did. didn't you? About are there too many games? Yes. I'm I'm tempted to do one myself where I, where I discuss um are games too long? Yeah. Well, too I long. Sort of, touched on that a little bit yeah i might i might touch it a little bit more you fiddle that i think i will um but yeah there's a top opinion on the channel there's well there's three now four three four two each four, yeah there's there's a uh, two top opinions each so four in total because that's how maths work um my one went up last night it's currently tuesday so it went up monday the 26th of february 2019 yeah. I made a point of saying that in the video as well because yeah, I noticed that. Uh, well, I talked about sales figures and I didn't want people coming back saying you were wrong because you know it's always easier to just be like, well, I recorded it then. And anyway, it's about Anthem and the fact that I think it's kind of failed, isn't it, Anthem? Yeah, well, it's, it's almost too early to say, but you made some good points. So thanks, mate. Unfortunately, you used our old logo at the start oh, of the video. I did, yeah, at the start of the video, and uh, I'm far too lazy to re-render the whole thing and, and redo it. Well, Even now that it's been a viral hit with 14 views, we, we can't mm. we can't afford to lose that. 14 views in less than a day, and um, that's with zero marketing by myself, because I'm shit. I did it. You did some marketing? Well, I tweeted it. Oh, thanks. To our nine followers? <laughs> well, yeah. I think the same people who follow us on Twitter subscribe, oh, subscribe to us to anyway. Well, that's funny. Well, still... Um, 
but we have we have people that listen on other platforms as well we such do. as uh, such true. as uh, I, iTunes Apple what's it I, Apple Podcast Apple Podcast I, I, I Podcast do you know do you know what podcast actually means do you know what it is uh, what it's a portmanteau kind of of no it's iPod broadcast is it yeah so it so, comes from Apple basically I mean kind of yeah because that's obviously iTunes was iTunes and Windows Media Player back in the day were the big things weren't they and, mm. and iTunes was kind of un, undeniably better you would say yeah even, even as a Windows person myself iTunes was always pretty good but yeah podcast is is iPod broadcast anyway um, yeah so that, that went up yesterday a video about uh, Anthem yeah, it's about, they're about 10 minutes long, aren't they, the top opinions? Just for, yeah, for those that haven't watched that. them. And if you are listening on the other platforms, we don't put them on these because, well, yeah, they're 10 minutes long. Yeah, they're more they're, traditional YouTube videos. They are. They're more like video essay kind of things, aren't they? So um, you can check that one out. But um, sorry, to go back to my original question, what have you been playing? Lots was the answer. Yeah, quite a bit. So I finished The Life is Strange completed it mate the life is strange the life is the strange I believe that's, that's not, not what it's called Nife <laughs> is strange it was that's also not a language very good loved yeah. it absolutely loved it it's so mad to me because it doesn't strike me as your kind of game at all well I, I'm not sure if I see it as a game I'm seeing it more as like a TV show okay like, an interactive TV show yeah, that you can rewind much. and change, change the outcome of. You can sort of change the outcome. It's not. There are big points when you like can't do that mm. in the story, and they change it. I, I looked up afterwards because there's two endings. I think. Um, maybe. Well, I presume there'd be way more than that. That's well, that's the thing. Every, everyone was a little bit. Cause, well, by, at this point, what this game is like six years old, so mm. we are behind on the chat here. Yeah, we're really. But, <laughs> I. Everyone got quite mad on the internet imagine that people, people on the internet, internet mad oh I know just like me <laughs> they, they were mad that there was two endings and one of the endings was just a bit half baked to their to their eyes oh, okay but um because they thought all the choices they made along the way weren't really relevant to their their ending but what I loved about it most was that you made these little choices they didn't necessarily affect the massive ending but they affected the little bits in your story the little bits that you were attached to and that was like your story that's how you were seeing it for example there's like a mm. girl in it who you can save from killing herself basically and I couldn't save her Edgy. Uh, and I couldn't rewind it you, you couldn't, couldn't save, save her. her no I couldn't you um, have to like go through the right formula of conversation oh I see like the story her. within the story yeah okay but I, I couldn't and then that was like it didn't affect any outcome at the end but still that was like my emotional attachment yeah. journey along the way but then it, I, I kind of agree with the internet people where it's like if it didn't affect the outcome why why bother right it wasn't your controversial opinion that you don't like multiple endings I don't like multiple endings but I feel like a game such as Life is Strange isn't the point of it to be like life is so strange what there's so many different outcome well, and variations I mean, and that's a different thing. That's that's just having something in there for the sake of having it in there. That's that's not pertinent to the plot. If you're saying that that was just like one event, and then the two endings, the two real quote unquote endings, had nothing to do with it. Well, it what's the point? It was important to the plot still. Nah, too late. You've already said it wasn't. No, it was. It was important to your plot. It was important to how then your character experienced and how you saw everyone else in that world. Hmm. Because it was more natural than like plotting your way through to get your right your right story essentially. Okay. It was. It made you have this emotional connection rather than like a sort of computer based video game connection. It was like mm. your personal connection to the character, and then you role played as. Um, the the girl oh, Ellen, Ellen Page basically <laughs> I mean that's essentially who it is oh, I've forgotten her name anyway um, it will come to you but Max let's move. Max um, have you seen both endings yeah I looked the other one up on YouTube are you pleased with the one you got <laughs> relatively pleased what? I, I do you want to spoil one. them because I'm never going to play them and no I won't spoil it because I think people should go out and play it would Even you now. think I should sorry do you think I should go and play it should, Should I, I try and go back to it? 
I'm, I'm not sure if I could get I you got, if you'd enjoy it or not. But I got about two hours in, and I just thought this isn't for me. I just it, it didn't grab me. The gameplay I thought was boring. She walks too slowly. You probably won't, because the yeah. gameplay's not important about it. There's the, the, yeah. the re rewinding time to complete some puzzles and stuff. It's quite interesting, but yeah. you're there for the story. And as I said, it's a TV show. Like I've never had a game that, like, as soon as like credits rolled, I was like. You know when you get attached to that TV show and it ends on Netflix and you run out of the season and you're like, oh, wait. I Second week in a row, Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> and you're like, oh God. Now what? Now what? What do I do with my life now? And that was the attachment I had to it. And then I looked up, like, there's one ending that they take as canon and they're doing a comic book series for. Okay. And I, I, Is that the one you got? That was the one I got, yeah. Oh. And I just wanted to look and see because you wanted to know what happens see, to the characters. That to me implies that you did it correctly if they if they've said this is the ending we're going to make a comic book strip on mm -hmm. that says to me that you did it the way that it was intended to be but anyway, i say that because all right fair enough that's the way that you could continue the story the other way okay. is sort of like does she die well who knows T tell me with your eyes or or with a facial <laughs> I don't know what that. I just are. realised I'm not being recorded on camera, and I've just stared straight at him. You have. You could have just, could have just me like nodded a nod or, or shook my head. Anyway, anyway, what else have I been playing? We would. We pretty much just said the exact same things. We both said nodded. You said shook. I said shake. And then I was gonna say anyway, and you beat me to it. I went. Uh, Listen back and you'll hear it. What else have you been playing? To this podcast. Enough. <laughs> no, I do. I listen to it about five times. Um, while editing, by the way, I'm not like egotistical. Like, what's oh, the I said something a bit wrong now. Narcissistic, yeah. Um, no, just for, for editing purposes. I don't know. I've, I've listened to one or two of them, like a back. I've listened to like the first two minutes or so. Yeah, it is a bit weird listening to yourself. Yeah. Anyway, what else have you been playing? I say we're thoroughly entertaining them. Um, we are. We should Clearly. <laughs> subscribe to us, not PewDiePie. We should be up no, there in that competition. No, I definitely subscribe to PewDiePie. I like Indian music. Um, nah, T Series is bots, mate. It's all bots. <laughs> I've really, I've not been following this. I don't. Eight, know Eighty-four million subscribers, and they average like ten k views a video. And you're telling me that's not bots? Anyway, sickening. Anyway, Pewds all the way. Anyway, I used to really not like anyway. PewDiePie, and I've gone the total. I've done a 180. Oh, he's so funny. Anyway. Now that he's not like a screaming baby. Anyway. Mm. So I carried on playing Rhyme this afternoon. <gasps> I forgot you were playing Rhyme. Because I, I sort of had a little bit of a break after the shock that I hadn't completed it. Mm. Okay, I, uh, so where are you up to now? I'm, I made it through the bird level. It's quite tough, isn't it? No. The bird level. Oh. <laughs> it's maybe not, not at all. maybe not tough, but it's a bit like um. Yes, you've got to think not, a little bit more. Not tough but... in the sense of like all oh, Dark Souls or like the, no, the puzzle's not difficult, but it's kind of like for, it's it's tough within the the world of that game because it's not Rhyme is not a difficult game, but that level maybe well, it's for me it, looking it, back retrospectively, that is by far and away the hardest part. The more yeah, that's where it feels the like more a gameplay, game play. Yeah, exactly. It's more mm. gameplay. It's a good level though. It's a really good level. And you I really saw it. the clouds and it's... Yeah. So wh where are you up to? So I've just finished that island or section of the tower, okay. yep. which I've now realised is like a sort of hub thing and you're going up. I didn't really realise that before. Um, yeah, kind of. Yeah. Well, you go up after the end of each level, don't you? To the next one. I've just chucked coke all down myself. Along with your spaghetti. Along with my pasta sauce. You I haven't Jesus met Christ. and before we even recorded, he knocked my water over my <laughs> laptop and my phone. <laughs> it's not my evening. What it's, can I say? This episode is not gonna go well. It's also not the evening, it's twenty past midnight. Yeah. But, um sorry, so you've 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 been Yeah. The, I'm just gonna wipe some Coke off my chin. Um so you've Coca Cola, been... by the way. Oh yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, not that kind of Coke. We're not um yeah, we're not, we're not those. Don't read into it that it's like 20 past midnight and he's just spilled Coke everywhere. Yeah. It is Coca-Cola. It's Coca-Cola, the, the delicious carbonated beverage that used to be called Brad's Zesty drink. drink. The zesty beverage. It's not zesty. It's zesty. Nah, zesty's like oranges and shit. That's not zest. That's just... Yeah, that's fruit flavoured. It's not fruit. It's like Dr. Eh? Pepper's fruit flavoured. Dr. Pepper is fruit flavoured. Dr. Pepper tastes like cherry. This doesn't taste like anything. Anyway. I mean, it tastes like Coke. <laughs> Sorry. 
If you want to, like, if this is your first time listening to Top Chat, please go and listen to one of the upper episodes to get more of a representative idea of us. Easy for you to say. Last week's episode was pretty tangent filled as well. Yeah. I think it's fun. We are tangerine filled here. Zesty. Zesty. Throwback to five seconds ago. So you beat the bird. Yeah, so I'm on the next level. Let's get back on. I can't actually think what the next level is. I guess it's like a jungle temple kind of thing. Uh, like the first, I, well, I was in this room, and then like I walked. There was like loads of different rooms, like uh, corridors. I could walk off it. I chose one, oh, and I ended is... up back in the room. And I was like, mm. okay. This, if this is the bit, I'm th- if I'm thinking of the right bit. Sorry, this is like the the puzzly bit. This is mm. a really puzzly kind of yeah. segment. But I'm just five minutes into that one, and then had dinner. Uh, I, think I think you're about, about to meet. meet. So, so, so in terms of like the counter. counter the counterparts to the story there's the fox you've obviously met the fox you meet the fox yes. straight away you're about to meet like the second one okay interesting which is is not you don't get as attached to it as the fox I hate the fox the fox can fuck off well it just runs away it's like follow me and then I just hear it yapping I'm like where the fuck are you just leave me alone I'll find it myself oh god well, well, if, if I, I tell, tell you right now that the fox is figurative and you're looking at it very wrong... <laughs> then, um, I'm not smart enough, as we discussed last week, to okay. really get into this game. But anyway, well, more games I've been playing. Or more demos, games. I'd demos. say. Okay. I downloaded the Yoshi's Crafted World demo. Who's? Yoshi's Crafted World demo. I don't know who that is. Yoshi's Can you Crafted describe World. That, that character to me? Yeah, he's a, he's a little dinosaur man. Okay. Who's he friends he, with? He uh, eats eggs. Okay. And um, he's called Yoshi. Y O S H I. Ah, that that's spelled the same as Yoshi. Yeah, Yoshi. Oh, Yoshi. Yoshi. So, so I've been playing. Well, I would say playing. I play. It's the first level <laughs> of Yoshi's Crafted World. Demos on, on generally the demo. are. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be honest. Well, actually, the other demo wasn't. Um, okay. But this one, I was really excited because I haven't played any Yoshi game since uh, Yoshi's Island on Game Boy Advance. Back in the day. Is that how long it's been? Yeah. Wow. No wonder everyone went mad for it. Oh, well, no, it was no, Mario no, Maker that no, everyone went mad for. There's been loads of Yoshi games, but... Oh. You I mean, very nearly said Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> the day you say Yoshi. At this point. Yeah, because you know it's Yoshi. No. Um, so, it was very easy, of course. But, I mean, it is a kid's game, I think. So that's Nintendo, isn't it? They're all well, kids they're not games, all kids of. games. You got like some which provide a challenge, like um, from what I've heard, like Toad's Treasure Tracker and Captain Toad's Treasure <laughs> yeah, Tracker. Yeah, that sounds that's really difficult. difficult well, it's a puzzle game, and then but then you've got like uh, Kirby's All Star Allies, which is like the easiest <laughs> game I've ever played, oh, apart from Mayo. May- oh, I am Mayo. Oh, I am, is. yeah, Jar Jar, Jar-, Jar- Mayo. Mayo. We just press, press X for five minutes. Easy yeah, pattern trophy. Yeah. Um. But I don't think I'm going to get it, judging okay. by this this gameplay. I'm, it looks really nice because it's every it's supposed to be like you're playing a crafted world, like arts and crafts. Everything's made out of like folded paper and stuff. Like the art style looks cool, mm. but also like it doesn't look very good on Switch. Really? Like, so there's sort of like it's 2.5D sort of thing. So like you can go into the background, you're just not on one plane. Yeah, and then like as you go into the background, it's got this really horrible blur that when you go towards the background, it like unblurs. That's funny because I feel like the 3DS has always had like maybe it's a Nintendo thing. I feel like the 3DS had this weird kind of blur thing as well, where it was almost where the frame rate got a bit. Of, and I only ever played Pokemon, so it wasn't as if it was running at 60 FPS or whatever. But it was if you were walking through maybe a door or something, there would be this very slight like edge of the screen blur. So maybe Nintendo just makes shit screens. But it did remind me of like <laughs> when the 3D was on on the 3DS. I hate the 3D. Yeah, it's disgusting. I absolutely hate the 3D on the 3DS. I'm going to get my 3DS this weekend. I miss it so much. I want to replay Pokemon Moon. So I'm not sure if I'm going to get Oh yeah, Yoshi's Crafted World. Uh, what was the other demo? The other demo was Trials Rising on Nintendo Switch. Oh yeah, you like Trials, don't you? I love Trials. I like Trials. Trials back in the day on mini clip. Trials to me is like to make this musical. It's like listening to Immure. 
Like, like for the, the first, first half, half an hour, it's like, like this is fucking excellent. And then you think, oh, wait, wait it's, it's the, the same thing, thing. over no, and over so and wrong. over. It's so it's wrong. It is. It's rinse and repeat. It's, oh, oh it's can, you, can you bike through the level? level? Yes. Well, can you bike through the next level? No, no we'll, we'll just try again. Fail. Okay. Okay. Try again. Failed. Try again. Yes, but you can say that about any game. Oh, you didn't do that level, do it again. Yeah, but it's not literally like... Yeah, but no, a 30 second, second stretch where, where it's oh, just like you've, you've hit so your edge you need to start I'm not wrong it's such literally a good game. what the I'm game is I'm probably going to get it tomorrow that's literally what 20 quid you, on the Nintendo cannot, eShop you cannot deny that it's literally what the game is the premise of that game is rinse and repeat getting a bike from A to B and maybe doing a backflip there's no, nothing more to it than there, it's basically a puzzle game Jesus Christ. And you've obviously never got far enough in it to understand that. I played a lot of Trials Fusion, actually. I don't know why, because I don't think it's that great. Um, I played a fair amount of it. I might get this. The beta. It was called the beta. uh, Beat a few of your uh, time trial schools. Did you? On Trials Fusion, yeah. Like one or two. And then I thought, well, this game's (laughs) very boring. That was the first PlayStation 4 game. And that's all I was playing at the start, yeah. Wow. So it's been so. a while then between yeah. games as well. It's been long. Well, they had loads of map packs and stuff like that. Okay. Anyway, so you think you're not getting uh, Yoshi's paper, whatever, but you're you're going to get Trials. Um, yeah, I think I might get it tomorrow. I think Rising, really, really good Switch game. On the go. I'd, yeah, I'd rather get it on Switch than on a, a traditional console. Mm. It was it was really good. The, the beta was like pretty much the whole game. It felt like. And there's also this. Oh, oh, I wonder why that is. Oh, it's because the whole game is the same thing over and over again. So a beta, but yeah, I can see where you've come to that conclusion. I understand. I'm really sorry, but you just completely undid every point you tried to make and backed up mine. I did not. Perfectly. You did. You religiously played Fortnite. With- but Fortnite, 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 no, no, no you, you can't, can't compare the two. No, I they're, can. They're, you can't compare the two. I can completely. There, yeah, are so there are so many. There are so many. I'm not going to just sit here and defend Fortnite. Fortnite there are so one game mode. many varied. Also, that's just wrong. It doesn't. There's so varied. Oh no! This time I can play with two players in my team. <laughs> yeah, you can't do that on trials. You can. No, you can't. You can. There's a tandem bike where you take half the control of each. Really? Yeah. That sounds ridiculous. That sounds great. I want to do it. What, so one of you is like pivoting the back wheel and one's doing the front. I think, or well, obviously I have no one to play it with, but yeah, that's. The Can't just one of you hold right and the other one hold left, and you'll just stay perfectly no, because in you, motion. When you're going up a hill, you have to like lean forward, otherwise you'll go like that. Lean back, lean back. Which no one would have seen, but you'd go backwards. All right. Well, anyway, no, there's you can't compare trials to Fortnite because a they're completely different games, and b Fortnite actually has variables that make every game pretty much different. Whereas, Whereas trials, trials is like, oh, maybe, maybe I need to lean back, back like a split second sooner next, next time. time. That's all. That's the fun of it. Like you've got to be able to yeah. conquer. It's like, just not for me. You've got to get into the flow to get the best time. But not only that is like, like your first time doing a track, mm-hmm. you're gonna like fall off. You'll have to go back to the checkpoint. So you've got to work out how to do that bit. But then, if you want to master a track, you've then got to learn how to connect all those bits within the flow and get the best times. And there's also loot boxes in it, so I can't wait. Mm. Fair enough. I mean, if you, if you like it, then you get it, I guess. It doesn't really interest me in the slightest, but I, no, final no, note, just just to reiterate, incomparable to Fortnite. There's just totally different. But anyway, should we, should we do the news? Wait. Uh-huh. What? I wanna, Have you got another game you No, I haven't. I just want... I really want some comments this week. I just... Who is right in this? Me. You can't Are you really going to argue with the internet? The internet, the internet that is obsessed, obsessed with Fortnite, Fortnite. And, and you, you reckon you're, you're going to get people arguing trials? Just say it's quite more varied than Fortnite. No, I'm not saying that. But you I can't say Fortnite, Fortnite for almost a year. <laughs> Fortnite isn't one track and trials is. But, you, but there's no. This is the thing you're missing. There's variables. Because Fortnite, you you don't always land in the same place. You don't always visit the same areas. You don't always use the same guns. You don't have the same fights. You don't have the same mobility. Just that every single game, there's some one thing will change that means you never have the exact game. Yeah, but there's like as you did 500 courses in trials. Yeah, but okay, fair enough. But it's still the whole point of it is: did I make it to the end? No. Try again. Did I make it to the end? Wait, no. Wait, try again. Are you did, I win Fortnite? Did, did I win? Did I win? Anyway, anyway nah, it's variables. Anyway, it's variables. What's occurring? What's occurring? Well, um, kind of, again, kind of shit all, really. Um, 
a couple of bits of Nintendo news. We'll start with the biggest one, although we are a oh, wait, one, bit one late. second. Uh -huh. There's Another been a lot one. of rumours this week, okay. which we're going to address after mm. the news. So if you think we're missing out on anything, we're not. Don't worry. We're a tight ship here. We, have, we've run, we run a tight ship at tight schedules. Uh, um, yeah, stupid o'clock in the morning. Um, Nintendo news, yeah, the big bit that was... The big bit? That's terrible grammar. Um, it was last week, wasn't it? Was it last Friday or something? So the COO of Nintendo America, which is Chief Operations, someone or other? Officer, I think. Officer? Yeah, that's probably right. Um, pretty famous bloke, Reggie Phil's aim. Probably his butchered his name. Isn't ready anymore. His body isn't ready. Well, his body has had enough, so he's decided he's going to retire... Um, from, from being, being president, president and COO of Nintendo, Nintendo America. Uh, he's retiring in the spring, and the company has announced that uh, Doug Bowser is taking the role. Doug Bowser was formerly the uh, senior vice president of sales. A senior vice president implies that there's a junior vice president. He was vice president before. Okay. Well, senior vice president of sales and marketing, and he's now becoming... Yeah. But, um, Obviously, I, the best thing about the story is his name's Doug Bowser. Doug Bowser. Yeah, well, I kind of I ripped this straight from GameSpot because I thought it was quite a good line. Um, Doug Bowser, a man whose name requires a yes, really, uh, after every mention. Yeah. Which it does, because he's it does. called Bowser. But it's kind of like that thing. It's like if, you, if you're named after a profession, say if your name's like Jeff Baker, you're <laughs> like more likely than just a normal person to become a baker. That's very true, yeah. So maybe he was like, hey... I'm going to worm my way up Nintendo. I'm going to be the big boss one day. The Trump big Bowser boss. boss. Exactly. Yeah. Maybe, Maybe that's, that's why I'm destined to become a fishmonger. Is that what Napier means? No, it was kind of a joke, though. Um, in other Nintendo news, there's... It's just surreal humour, isn't it? It's just a bit random. It's completely gone. I didn't really want you to out my surname, either. I thought we would just rename... Rename? Remain. Anonymous oh, is just Matt and Joe. I'm sorry. On Twitter, your bio is oh, Top yeah. Chat Podcast Host. <laughs> dab, dab, dab. Um, <laughs> Nintendo have announced a Pokemon Direct, uh, which is so of course Nintendo Direct, your favourite thing, which is just basically their like Vidox, uh, where they announce games and and whatnot. And there was there was a uh, somewhat surprising lack of Pokemon in the main. Nintendo Direct, which was last last week, week before, mm, a week and a half before, ago, yeah. whatever. Um, yeah, a lack of Pokemon, uh, but now they've said, well, we're doing a specific one. So yeah, Pokemon Direct. It's a seven-minute, um, yeah, video. Uh, it's going to be at the time of recording now. It's going to be tomorrow, but by the time this is released, as in this podcast is released, it will have already happened. So we'll probably tweet about it a little bit. I mean, I I might even log into the Twitter for the first time in about a month. And uh, do some tweets because of the two of us, I am the Pokemon Stan. Never actually said that before. Stan. First, must my first time saying Stan. Um, but yeah, it's presumably going to be on the Switch. Um, I just watched a little video on IGN about it before we started recording. And supposedly, uh, this comes from like pretty much Mr. Pokemon himself. Uh, it's going to have the best visuals yet, which is kind of a no shit Sherlock. Uh, and there's going to be, quote, more emphasis on multiplayer, end quote. Which, well, no, I don't think it's going to become like an MMO, but I feel like that just means that battles and like trading and integration is just going to become... As long as it's got nothing to do with Pokemon Go. Because that... Uh, I didn't yeah, I look up Let's Go well enough before oh, really? realising that I'll there was like whole picks for you, blooming so. exclusive things you have to do with Pokemon Go, and I hate that game. I don't hate it, but it's just... It, you just don't like exercise. <laughs> well, no. When I'm walking along, I don't think to put it on. Yeah. You know. No, I've got got to be honest. I have, my Pokemon Go playing time has massively decreased this year. I think the way that Niantic handled Gen Four was just absolutely appalling. Like Smeargle has just been released like yesterday. Smeargle's Gen Two, and the fact that we're still like we're missing Smeargle from Gen Two, like. We're missing a couple of Gen 3 Pokemon, and then they launched Gen 4, and it was, it was half assed and half baiting. Now you just don't see any Gen 4s. What's the point? I think Pokemon Go is in a terrible state at the moment, so yeah, I agree. I hope the next uh, canon Pokemon game has nothing to do with Go. Um, but yeah, I mean, best visuals, obviously. They always have better and better visuals. And I was thinking, actually, every single Pokemon game, or every single generation, Hang on, no, that doesn't make sense. I can't think what I'm trying to say, but basically they've all like, they're always moving up screen sizes. 
So they started yeah. off tiny, and then they got a little bit bigger, and then they went to CS and 3 and so now they're on the Switch. And it's, yeah, I mean, it's given them more to play with. It's a widescreen as well. What is Switch? 7 by 4 inches? Something like that? Something like that. Sorry to our uh, Imperial. Wait, is that, is that Imperial or Metric? Whatever <laughs> centimetres or what, you know. Um, we, use, thing. we use a weird system we use in this country. Everything. We use a bit of It just depends on what it is as well. Yeah, that's what I'm using. Whatever seven I hope, uh, by four. For this, I hope Reggie turns up. Just one last Reggie. One last Reggie. Best a send off for Reg. He's a good bloke. Yeah, I'm he's sure there will be. a bit of a tough time during the, the Wii U, yeah. but I mean, he's been there for Wii, 3DS, Switch, mm. all ridiculous, and DS as well. I mean, he's done a cracking job. Yeah, him, Sean Layden, and uh, Phil Spencer up on stage at uh, the Game Awards mm. a few months ago. That was pretty, what a trio. pretty iconic, yeah. Mm. Right up there with Ron, Hermione and Harry, the Potters. That's, I was going to say, that's really the first trio that comes Right up there with R2, D2, C3PO and the Ball. <laughs> the Ball BB-8? <laughs> what an interesting... Salt, Pepper and... What? Are these Rosemary. people or are you just talking about con- condiments? Yeah. yeah. Ketchup, ketchup, mayo, and mustard. Oh, I'd put barbecue sauce over mustard any day. No, because no, ketchup, mayo, and mustard combined, of course, create burger sauce. This, this is ridiculous. ridiculous. Um, well, one last note on the Pokemon, Pokemon thing is that, that they've teased, like, some, some of the promotional material has, like, three Pokeballs, which, which obviously implies that they're probably going to show off the new starters, starters yeah. tomorrow. So I was going to ask you, yeah, what are you expecting from this? Are we going to see? A lo- I don't know. Are we g- going to see a lot of the new Pokemon? Will it be a couple of them? Oh, sorry. What am I expecting from the direct, not from yeah, the game? Yeah. I think we'll see the starters. We'll see their their first forms. We won't see. I mean, generally speaking, they unveil um, starter and then middle evolution and then final evolution, like all in separate reveals. So I think we'll see. We'll, we'll see, see the three starters, starters and, and then we'll just see random ones. Surely I mean, Meltown's got some... some Meltown will be in there, Melmetal, 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 Melmetal will be in there, but they, what, what they, they tend to do is, is, is just show off like, just, just like, like, oh, there's a grass type, type there's, there's a water type, type there's, there's an electric, electric type, or whatever. But because you've got no context, you don't know if it's rare or not, which I always think is quite cool, because I think when they were showing off uh sun and moon for the first time they showed off vicavolt which i know means nothing to you vicavolt's actually quite a somewhat difficult pokemon to actually get but when you see it you just think oh that's a bug electric type that's probably going to be fairly standard anyway that's just an example but um yeah I'll, i'm going to be watching it i'll be at work tomorrow when it's broadcast, but i think i saw it was seven minutes long seven minutes long so it's kind of just a long trailer at 2 p.m so i'll have just started work and i'll just fuck off to the toilet for a few minutes and go and watch it but um yeah, yeah we'll, I, think I think we'll see the new starters, starters. We'll, we'll see the region, region or, you know, know like the standout points, like, like if there's a volcano or something, we'll see that, or, you know, just, again, there's weird examples, but um, they don't tend to show off too much in these things at mm. first. Pokemon games are always a good few months of like, oh, here's this and here's this and here's this. They might show off the new, like, gameplay element. Mm. Well, the, I, I can imagine them doing what they did with Smash, like, at a couple of months before it comes out, I think they did it around August, September. They have the Pokemon Direct, half an hour of like, these are the gameplay elements, this is what's yeah. new. But I think we'll, we'll see like the art style, obviously, and 3D open world, 3D open world. I don't want that, and I also don't think the art style is going to be drastically different from Let's Go, because Let's Go wasn't that different from Sun and Moon, and then again, that wasn't that different from X and Y. Anyway, um, in other news, games that, or a game rather, that neither of us particularly care about in Dreams, which is the PS4 exclusive um, create your own game within a game game <laughs> um, is going into early access in, is it May I think? I should have written this down really I haven't yeah. actually said but it's going into it's early April access or May. April or May, sometime around then um, so Media Molecule have said that it's going to cost about $30 and also 30 euros which exchange rates anyone? Not maybe Media Molecule haven't heard of them well um, it might be after Brexit so we'll that's true um, but they've said that if you pay for early access, you then don't have to buy the full game, like you don't have to pay more. Um, I think this is like a tactical decision because obviously oh, Dreams is a, um, it's a user generated it's UGC, it's well, user it's generated content, one, um, isn't it? Caveat: It mm-hmm. is the creator tools. It's not the full game. It's oh, okay. just the creator tools. Oh, I'm glad you've said that. But that which that, is why it's thirty pounds. 
yeah, yeah that, that also makes more sense because then they want people to buy early access and then they basically want people to make exactly their game for them so and then, i think it's yeah. really it's probably the best way they could have done this because it's been a yeah. very like when's it coming out and what we've seen drips and drabs from the beta they did um mm. but um no it's a good idea because as yeah a game that relies so much on well, then, I, I think that was a that? train which, which is not anywhere near, near this side, side of the house bloody hell sorry <laughs> uh, why did I apologise uh, train <laughs> uh, what was I saying it's like the market it's, it's a crazy bit of marketing I don't it's know. a good bit of marketing just yeah. so that they can get the game off the ground there's yeah. going to be loads of crazy shit on that game already mm. by the time you boot it up it's, um, it's an interesting decision given that early access recently hasn't particularly gone down that well for for a lot of games mainly anthem which is something i talked about yesterday on the channel it's a different game oh it's a totally different game but early access i'm just saying as a as a devil's advocate early access isn't always the best thing but i think for such a unique case as dreams it probably is going to be a good thing yeah it's a good idea but um yeah we've mentioned before that we're not particularly interested i am interested to see what people can make this is a very much like I'll watch a top 10 best creations of dreams on YouTube. I'm not even that interested. Well, I'm actually, I think I'm interested to see what, like, to the extent of what you can actually make. Yeah. But saying that, you can make Christ knows what in Minecraft, and I've never bothered watching that, so maybe I won't. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. He's allergic to fun. You like Minecraft? Yeah, I used to love Minecraft. Oh, you've got it on your PlayStation, haven't you? I forgot. Never really played it on there. No, it just doesn't. I don't know, it doesn't appeal to me. Anyway, um, Skybound, which is uh, Robert Kirkman's media company, who he is the, I think, director or creator of The Walking Dead. Um, so his media company have parted ways with Starbreeze, uh, developers of Payday, um, after the critical failure of Overkill's The Walking Dead, which launched back in November. So Also, that title, every time, why is it called Overkill's The Walking Dead? If it was developed by Starbreeze and published by Skybound, what's Overkills? I'm not is entirely it, is sure. Is that Walking Dead lore that I don't know? Uh, not entirely sure. I know. Well, Skybound are the uh, the publisher who recently saved Telltale's Walking Dead from. Oh, okay. The far better game than being stuck in the oblivion of Telltale's closure. Uh, yeah. So they picked it up and picked up a few members of staff just to end the final season yeah. um, and Starbreeze are going through a hell of a time they, they, they really were uh, done by the Swedish Norwegian some Scandinavian country uh, like FBI for embezzlement and insider trading and all that and are they a Scandinavian company Starbreeze they are I believe oh, I um, know that Makers of Payday, the heist. So uh, payday a minute ago, if you've been listening. Oh, I wasn't listening. No. Um, <laughs> Pay attention. But yeah, so this, I remember this came out on PC like November, something like that. The, that as the well. The console release was supposed to be in February. <laughs> I didn't say that, but I did say that it came out in November. But it doesn't look like it's coming out anymore. No, like well, it's they, been. The Sony sent around email saying like your pre order of this game has been cancelled, but <laughs> it doesn't look very good anyway. All so. refunds are available at point of purchase. They, yeah. yeah, well, it, it got panned. I, I don't really know anything about it, to be honest. I feel like they've missed the Walking Dead boat anyway. The Walking Dead. Should we just go on a little tangent quickly before our last bit of news? Have you watched The Walking Dead? I watched up to about season four or five. I think I got even less than that. I thought the first season was incredible. Like, one of the best things I've ever seen. I thought the second one was decent. And then you know what the best thing about that was? first season was like six episodes. Mid-word? But yes, you're right, it was. It was very short, sweet, and just kind of in, you know, in your face, but to a point. It was like, I think the season I got to... They just spent the whole time like doing the same thing, like someone's attacking their base and we'll attack their base. And just... Well, I got bored with the, the whole thing. I think season three when it was like the governor, like that that random oh, bloke. What's his name? And then he started shagging one of the women, and then he Rick didn't like him. Is it Rick? Rick is the main guy. Rick is the main guy. I heard the other day that um, <laughs> I guess spoilers for people if anyone listening to this watches The Walking Dead and isn't up to date. Um, the little boy died. Like in the thing, not in real life. Um, Carl. Carl. Carl's yeah. dead apparently, and so is um Glenn. 
I think they've all died at this point. And I know this yeah. is like Rick's last season or something. I think the whole thing oh, just know. needs to. Work. I think even like, David Morrissey. That's the guy. Oh yeah, I think even kind of like the diehard fans are kind of giving up on the on the Walking Dead as well. Yeah. I don't know. I lost Karen. Maybe it's just like the silent majority. Still, it's probably still getting yeah. good enough ratings to be carrying on. I think it's on season nine. Well, right, you say that, but Netflix have just cancelled the Punisher, and that got really good. That's ratings. nothing to do with the ratings. Is it not? No. That, oh, is this well, a bit of a? Is this a hot take or is this insider knowledge? Well, it's not it's, insider it's knowledge. It's kind of like but... an obvious connection. It's basically like Disney are making their own streaming service. Disney own Marvel, the MCU. They want everything on there. Mm. They pr- probably will buy the rights to like Jessica Jones and The Punisher and what was the other one they cancelled? Uh, Luke Cage. Uh, have they cancelled that? I'm not sure. I if don't that's know. I'm just trying. To, I'm trying to name um, Marvel shows. I don't Daredevil. Know. They cancelled as well. Oh. Uh, and that's why there's going to be like no Marvel things coming on Netflix anymore. So oh. maybe it'll be rebooted, or maybe they're just like that. Nah. We'll see, won't we? But for our final piece of news, this is kind of a, a rather humorous but also insane and finally uh, thq nordic i think you've mentioned a couple of times actually yeah, what the, do they make everything okay they've got um, 70 <laughs> games in development in development 70 games jesus wow okay so it's um, all useless ip <laughs> i was gonna say thq is one of those companies that just well, kind of buys well everything. that's the thing this was nordic was it was something else and then thq they were did like saints row i think and yeah couple of those kind of games and then they went out of business and then this company bought THQ and used their name as well and then just carried on buying IPs for days why not I guess um, well they've shot themselves in the foot at the moment they're in a in an absolute shit storm uh, because they hosted an AMA which is an ask me anything I believe isn't it that's what it stands yeah, for like that. Um, on 8chan uh, have you ever heard of 8chan? Because no. I, ha- yeah, I had not either. Is Apparently, it something to do with 4chan? Well, it's basically an image version of 4chan. So 4chan is obviously text, somewhat text-based. Okay. Um, but apparently 8chan is more of an image board. So I guess it's like the anti-Instagram. Um, but it's notorious for many things, um, none of which I'm going to mention because they're horrific and I don't want to say it. Oh, but really? imagine, imagine the worst thing possible. Yeah, apparently that's on 8chan. Um, and THQ Nordic thought it would be a great idea to host an AMA with, with those guys that populate that website. The worst thing possible. Don't say. Don't, just don't say it. Like, the worst thing possible. Imagine that. Yeah, that's that's on 8chan. Um, and Me yeah, people playing are, Fortnite. Yes, that is on there. Wow. Um, and people are, yeah, quite rightly tearing them apart for it because what yeah. a shocking decision. Why would you affiliate yourselves with that kind of feral scum? Just as they've spent... 40 odd million buying Warhorse or whatever it was mm. I apologise by the way if, if on the off ch- actually no I don't apologise if, if you're someone that goes on 8chan and I've just called you feral scum and that offends you don't go on 8chan because apparently that website has yeah the worst stuff in the world uh, and also stop listening and fuck off anyway <laughs> wow that's it well no that's our nine subscribers gone <laughs> hey you, you Seb just, is a dirty boy Seb is a naughty do we have a Sebby from the Webby we don't have a Sebby from the Webby because slack Seb doesn't want to speak to me oh no I don't know is he yeah. airing you at the moment no okay well Seb if you're listening which you fucking better be yeah. um, send us something in mate you're becoming a segment should we <laughs> that's pretty much it for the news I mean well no, that is it that for the news it was long news anyway it was somewhat long news I mean we spent about half an hour talking about just wow we really are quite far in aren't we are we just talking about all the games you've been playing, you've had a busy week. I've had a busy but week. But you're you're now gonna you're gonna take the wheel because we're we're taking a trip. No, we're not. Um, we're gonna be talking about some rumours, aren't we? Yeah. Like, like about my uh, my ten inch uh, dong. That's a rumour. Can confirm that it's uh, not true. False. Yeah. I've seen it. It's eleven. <laughs> oh, steady on, ladies. Not all at once. Oh wait, no, we're um metric, so eleven centimeters. So wait, oh. Is that metric? That's in no. Metric's metric. the new one, isn't it? Which metric is, is centimeters. So Imperial's feet and inches. Yeah. Oh, we use both. Fuck we it. use, but it's ridiculous. We love it. We're mental. We use pints and millimeters. <laughs> and the, no, no milliliters. The thing is, sorry. There's a US pint. There's a UK pint, and then there's like a pint pint, like a pint of beer is like a different measurement. Yeah. It's. But then you go to Australia and you have a schooner. Is that like, what the hell's a schooner? Schooner's like three. 
but it's not because they have they have stubbies which are 330 or like 300 ish or f- maybe four i don't know and then it's oh. i love anyway, a schooner half schooner not enough but like yeah a schooner is... for, for down under it's amazing because it gets too warm if you can't have a pint down under because by the time you get halfway down it'll be boiling okay but right. um let's talk about some rumors rumors yeah let's let's get bitchy let's get so our mean girls this week on. a lot of a lot of rumors have been uh mm. coming out okay they've been uh all right <laughs> It's been all Fleetwood Mac this week. Has it? Very good. You know, it's like the fourth best-selling album of all time. Is it? Isn't that I've weird? I've got it upstairs, actually. Have you? On, mm, on vinyl, yeah. Seven inch or... Yeah, twelve inch. Inch and <laughs> twelve inch. So what's that? So on, on my 30 centimetre vinyl, yeah. Yeah, something like that. Um, so I just wanted to go through each of the rumours that come out this week. And then we'll have a bit of discussion as to these leaks and stuff. Is it, like, is this what perpetuates, like too much hype and then gamers lose sight mm. of like what all aboard the hype train yeah exactly it's, I it's, feel like that's what Anthem oh, fell foul to yeah. to be honest and it's like it got uh, overexposed Man's Sky as well things like that yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely just people sort of making things up that Sean Murray didn't say uh, <sighs> we don't really want to go down that route but he definitely said a lot of things so, that uh, never actually uh, happened on a 4chan post Okay, Which, back, back with the normal, normal society, the respectable <laughs> ones. Just about. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just, just don't go on B and you'll be fine. On a, on 4chan, there's a, a, a rumour circulating that oh. was then corroborated. I can't believe I said that first time. Nice one. By Kotaku's Jason Schreier, who knows everything. God. Our God. So, yeah, Your God. God. My God. Hmm. So the rumour is of two Ubisoft games, one of which he doesn't agree with, the first one he does agree with is the setting for Watch Dogs 3. Okay. Watch Dogs 3. Which I believe will interest us after our chat let, about... Let, let me guess. guess. Is, is it London? London? It is London. Interesting. Interesting. So, so where was the f- first one was San Francisco? Francisco? The second one was San Francisco. Oh, right. The first one was either Detroit, Chicago or Boston. Because I don't know the difference. Oh, yeah. I feel this is where like I was getting confused with Chicago. Fallout uh, 4. I think yeah. it was Chicago, yeah. I feel like it was Chicago. Which I, I've, I've played a couple of times. Never completed it. Mm. It's, I mean, there's, everything's been said about that. It was like one of the first games I had on PS4. Um, it was an alright game. Uh, it was mm. just, it was kind of like Assassin's Creed, like, but Assassin's Creed when it was like Assassin's Creed 3, 4, Rogue, all those ones. So it's yeah, just it was around very, that time. Very checkboxy and like go take over this tower and then you can unlock new hacking abilities. I really have wanted Watch Dogs 2 for a while because it looks a lot less serious and it looks mm. fun. It looks My sister has it. Like GTA. Yeah, I really want it. At some point, I'm going to get it. She's never played it, so I can get it this weekend if you want. Oh, I could do. It came with her PlayStation 4. And she's never touched it. Oh, it does look really good and if they bring that over to that style not like the moody first one but sort of fun almost GTA but make it a little bit less hipstery and cool and then yeah. like this game. excuse me sorry and we don't get any games set in London like what was no. the last one Syndicate Assassin's Creed Syndicate yeah that's set in the 18th century <laughs> exactly like so yeah I'll be 18th fun. or 19th I think maybe 19th anyway yeah. yeah, so yeah, it was, good. and yeah. it's coming out this year apparently. Um, in placement of an Assassin's Creed game. Yeah, that would make sense. So your video on Assassin's Creed 2020 is. Uh, oh no, sorry, it's 2019. Yeah. That's why I said 2020. You twonk. <sighs> Interestingly, you twonk. Yeah, it's a good word that. It's like swearing. That. It's not made up. Everyone says twonk. That's a Southampton thing. That's where we're from. Never heard that. So no, you know, a twink. That's a. That's not a category good. of a homosexual person. Oh, you can I've be a twink. Heard that ever. It's like a twink and a bear. I've never heard that ever. Oh. Twonk. Ricky Gervais calls everyone a twonk as well. That's like his. Okay. Interesting. On the on our kind of point of rumors and are they, you know, good or bad? Now that you've told me that Watch Dogs Three is potentially going to be set in London, I'm far more interested in it than I would be if it was just set in. An- no, no offence to the Americans, Americans but just another, another American, American city. city yeah exactly however 
if it now turns out that it's not set in London, it's going to make me even less likely to buy it than I already was because I'll take that as an insult. So already, rumours are, rumors are potentially damaging Ubisoft's sales. Wow. What are we doing? But then again, it's not really their fault, is it? It's, it's, uh, it's not. But then, it's, then you've also got sometimes you've got to... It's the thing in video games, like people announce things way too early or then they leave it like... I really like something like this. They'll announce it within the next few months and it will come out a few months later. I like that. So yeah. like the hype doesn't build up too much. Yeah. Um, but then also at some point you've got to take control of the rumours that are coming out. Like You've got to take control of the message and spread mm. it yourself, I guess. I guess as well, the problem with these companies such as Ubisoft, I presume it's being developed by Montreal. They seem to develop most Ubi games. Um, they, they're going to have a few hundred staff at least. And then, you know, these people are saying, they go home to their families, they say, oh, we're, we're creating the next Watch Dogs, it's going to be set in London, that's cool, isn't it? And then their spouse or their partner, whatever, then mentions that to, you know, their gamer friend, and they say, oh, my boyfriend's working on, or my girlfriend's working on Watch Dogs 3, and they say it's set in London. You know, there's infinite possibilities where these rumours can come from. So you've got to think that they're grounded in truth yeah. to a certain extent. Yeah, of course, that it, rumours stem from somewhere, unless it's just some ma- random bloke on 4chan, but as I said, Jason Schreier. But they do like to make shit up for chat, and it quite often works. <laughs> yeah, so maybe they, that's the thing. So maybe the, post, the person who posted this on 4chan might have just made it up, and then Jason Schreier, like, they made it up out of, like, logic. Like, mm. uh, and then Jason Schreier was like, yeah, that's right. But then they also went on to predict the next Assassin's Creed game in the okay. same post, which he doesn't agree with, Jason Schreier. Well, what have they gone for? So... The next Assassin's Creed game, 2020, as you said, because mm-hmm. I don't know how to count. No, apparently. Uh, Codename Legion. Okay, that says Vikings to me. You'd be wrong. Okay. Uh, currently being developed for PS5 and the next Xbox, so sort of fits in with our prediction of when so those will be coming does. out. It really does. It'll be on PS4 and Xbox One as well. Uh, obviously, keep an Odyssey style, mm-hmm. but it'll be uh, set in Italy. Okay. okay. Uh, at the end of the reign of Marcus Aurelius, so Romans rather than Renaissance. Yeah. Which I can see. Greek, Italy. Yeah, that makes sense. It kind of completes the Holy Tril- uh, Trinity of um, like ancient Egypt, Greece, um, and uh, yeah, Romans. I don't know what you call it. Just empires, I guess. Yeah. Then, but then you kind of are missing the Ottoman Empire, and then the Mongo- as I've said, the Mongolian Empire, British Empire. Yeah, f- yeah. <laughs> yeah, forgot about us. Forgot about us. Just um, like demolishing half of the world. Yeah, How but convenient I mean, that's, of you, you that's way later though, and yeah. you you got to fast forward quite oh, yeah, a bit in time. Um, I mean, you could you could say to to a certain point that Syndicate is set within the British Empire. It's just set oh, yeah. in Britain. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, uh, Roman Empire. It's it's the the empire that intrigues me the most of the three. Hmm. I know Seb would love it. He likes the Greeks and the Romans. He yeah. does. I could see it happening. It's, yeah. I mean, it's different enough from the Ezio trilogy. It's different enough from the, from the Ezio trilogy, but that doesn't worry me. What worries me is it's going to be identical to Odyssey because the Greek and the Romans, That's the true. Greeks and the Romans, are extremely similar empires, yeah. and in terms of history, they're not that far apart. Yeah. There's at least four hundred years between sort of where Origins and Odyssey are set respectively there's about four or five hundred years there whereas there's not going to be as much well, well Ro- I don't know, Romans maybe. and Egyptians they crossed over didn't they yeah it kind of coincided which is what but, I mean saying. the Egyptian Empire was like so like long like, oh the ages. Egyptian one was thousands so of years so I guess yeah. you can just have okay yeah oh, well, well that's yeah that's interesting I'm, that's interesting weirdly one. enough I'm kind of more interested by the Watch Dogs London thing. Well, it's different, isn't it? I'm obviously going to get Assassin's Creed Legion, also quite a good name. Yeah, for like a Roman, definitely. Yeah, that's a pretty good name. That's probably so, the best name. I actually would be interested in playing this, because there was a Xbox One exclusive, I think it was called Rise, that came out at the start, and that was like a sort of For Honor kind of Roman Ugh. combat game. And that's actually remind me of a game I had on PS2. Or Seb had, where you played as a Roman. It was kind of like playing out Gladiator. Seb, 
from the web, get on that because I don't know what that's called and that's Help probably your game. game. Okay, moving on. Next, Next rumour. Moving swiftly on. Well, I, I think, think those are... That's, that's a good, good start, though. Those are two tasty tidbits. Yeah. Um, I, I would point out, actually, one rumour that I did have for this week is that there'd be a Pokemon Direct. And then it got announced today, just before the show. Just before so, recording. So, on... I've got these rumours from valuable sources, i.e. looking them up on Google. Yeah. <laughs> Gaming <laughs> Rumours 2019. Here's one. <laughs> another one that we've been so, discussing. Mm-hmm. So after the rumours of, oh well, confirmed that an Xbox app would be coming to the Nintendo Switch, mm-hmm. the rumour now is... Is this for Xbox Live, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Is that Game Pass is coming to the Switch. You predicted that, I did you? predict that. Yeah. And as well, a little uh, on the side, Ori and the Blind Forest is coming to the Switch as well. But that's separate. That's natively coming to the Switch. That undoes our list we made the other week about console exclusives, doesn't it? <laughs> well, no, Ori and, Wait, the, Will of, that one Ori and the Will of the Wisps is the sequel. The, the Will of the Wisps? Yeah, I is think. Is that right? Yeah, Will of the Wisps is the sequel. Oh. So this one's the original one. Oh, okay. um, but that, again... Xbox and Nintendo. Nintendo box. Here it comes. The, the Matt, I am so hyped for this rumour. Because... Did you just say my name? No, I said, nah, I am so hyped oh, for I this rumour. I thought you were like, Matt, I'm Matt, so... Because then I would have known. That's Matthew. Like, he's, he's seriously Matthew hyped. Napier, I'm so hyped for this rumour. Stop dropping my full name. What the Matthew fuck? Matthew David James Napier. No, I'm not Mike. I don't have two middle names. I do. Yeah, John Paul. George and Ringo. <laughs> oh, that's close <laughs> fucking enough. I don't know. Um, we, we've only been friends for 10 years. I don't give a fuck what your middle name is. So, oh, yeah, anyway. Yeah, I only have one middle name. This rumour has got me excited to my bones. Okay. Like, going back and playing, <laughs> even if it's 360 games, like having Mass Effect or something on there, on mm-hmm. my Switch. I think it's on the cloud at the moment. But if you could download it, that'd be even better. Because Nintendo Switch portable on the go, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But it's a start, and I, for me, the Switch was like the best place for me to play Skyrim. So I sat there, did mm. twenty minutes of it, put it down. These games that I've always wanted to play, I can go back to and play on Nintendo Switch. Mm. And it's just Xbox is just becoming a service. I've sort of got this theory now that Microsoft, they don't make. Like they made the PC software, and now they're like they're in the hardware business, but they're not really. Do you reckon they're going to pull out of the hardware business? I reckon they're going to stealthily pull out. No, services only. At some services point, not, only. Not fully out because they've got like the Surface tablet and stuff, but their business is operating systems. If like software, yeah. If like they got their Xbox operating system. They're like, look, Nintendo, you're not very good at online systems. We'll make it for you. And then all games consoles are the Xbox operating system. And then you've got like PS4 with the Linux or whatever. But mm. there's just like, for every single, they don't have to make the hardware. And then every single Nintendo just gets sold. They're like, money in. Mm. It's like, now, at the moment, with Windows, they've got like, Sony make laptops for them, essentially. Mm. and they get a chunk of it so that's my sort of theory at the moment um, on a similar note to that just something I learned the other day when I was picking up my new phone which is a Huawei P20 and I would recommend it highly um, Sony make screens for, for <laughs> Sony make the screens for the iPhone do they? because yeah, obviously Sony dominate like the, well they don't dominate but they do pretty well on the TV market no, it's, it's really so, um, weird yeah they're when, good at making um, screens People like Sony have recently bought out like this um, uh, some kind of sound software company hmm. who make like sound effects or music for games. I can't really remember, but like everyone uses them. Oh, okay. But like, if they wanted, they could be like, "This we're exclusive to this now." And all the other games like Microsoft and Nintendo are like, "Oh, we're kind of fucked because we use that as well." It's like some patented software. I don't really understand it. Right. But then Microsoft also owns. I think the graphics cards that go in PS4, they own the company. So it's kind of it like they've got these like fingers in all these different pies and like it's weird how they collab on some things and then they are uh, competitors in the other. To quote uh, the Chainsmokers, 
if we go down, we go down together. Maybe that's how they feel, and they're, they're staying in Paris. Sick one. kind of like that song. Uh, but also, <laughs> another thing is that, uh, Hell, uh, we mentioned this last week, Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice, mm-hmm. Ninja Theory, Microsoft Company, is coming to the Switch. The more you sort of dive into this Nintendo, Microsoft, Xbox, Switch partnership thing, the more kind of gravitas I feel like it's getting. Not that I made it sound like it's your thing. I mean, it kind of is. To me, it's your thing. But I feel like, yeah, every week you've kind of got a new point where I'm... It's almost scary because I feel like my beloved Sony are going to get absolutely dicked. Yeah, but you, you combine Nintendo Switch and Xbox Ones together, you still, you've got 20 million less than PS4. So yeah, yeah but, but I mean, with the new um, the new generation is coming. Well, if Sony lose, I mean, Sony's their mobile phone market is massively it's pretty much gone. So that's one huge you know in in cost oh, yeah, for them. The TV market is just saturated. During the last um, uh, generation, they were relying on PlayStation pretty much. They were in deep shit. Sony, yeah. they relied on the PlayStation brand. Um, I think they still like because they used to make cameras as well. Or they still do, but no one buys cameras anymore apart from SLRs, and yeah. most people buy like Canon because Sony's too expensive. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Laptops as well. Well, actually, if you if my next top opinion mm-hmm. is about the greatest console generation, and I'm sort of predicting at the end that the next one is going to be incredible, and everyone's on firing on all cylinders this time. And it's just going to be a great thing to see. So, so are, are Microsoft having hardware then or not? Yeah. yeah. Oh. This is, oh, you think I, 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 I think in my prediction episode, episode two, I think I said this is their last console. Yeah, yeah rings a bell. Okay, okay. maybe it okay. will be. Next, Next rumour on Next the rumour. This is more of a leak than a rumour. Oh, but okay, then, uh, then actually, it goes on to be a rumour. So, uh, a placeholder was left on Amazon for a new Bethesda game. Bethesda Game game Studios game Mm -hmm. with uh, also a placeholder uh, teaser trailer of just sort of like Countdown 9, 8, 7, 6 but in very much a Fallout style. I was going to say Countdowns of like 10 to 1 or whatever is very Fallout. Yeah, it's very like because I mean they've got Skyrim it's not kind of not a video style of Skyrim. It could be um, Starfield but again it looks more 50s style but many have been like oh it's just Fallout 76 um, add-on but it's Mm -hmm. like it's a game is a placeholder like a $60 game and then the special edition as well oh okay so it's an add-on it seems like a new game and everyone's like you can't be releasing Fallout 5 at the moment because what, what else do they, they make, Bethesda? Bethesda? I feel like there's well, another massive. It's Bethesda game, game Studios, Studios, I believe. I feel like they've got Bethesda, another. Bethesda Game Studios, all they make is Fallout and Skyrim and Starfield. Uh, Bethesda Softworks, who own Bethesda Game Studios, they make Prey, Doom. Um, uh, Doom? Doom's already announced the next one. I think it's Doom Eternal. Uh, mm. uh, what's coming up? Uh, Rage 2 is coming up that's already been announced are they making a sequel to Rage? Uh, Wolfenstein is Bethesda as well yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so okay. yeah. now so that was uh, Wario64 on Twitter I think he leaks quite a lot of stuff I've, yeah I was going to say I've heard that name before even I've heard that name um, so the rumour now is that this rather than being a Fallout 5 is a remaster of Fallout 3 or New Vegas, but let me tell you, it's not New Vegas, just for a start. Why? <laughs> because they, the first game studios didn't make it. Oh, it was Obsidian, wasn't it? Was Obsidian, yeah. yeah. So, it's not that. Um, it's going to be, I think it's... You've got such a smug look on your face, like, um, dickhead, it's not that. But, yeah, here we go. So, they're already working on five titles that are known. So, they've got Elder Scrolls Six, Starfield, Rage 2, Doom Eternal, and Wolfenstein Youngblood. And because it's Bethesda Game Studios, they've already announced Starfield, which is their next game, and then Elder Scrolls 6 after Sorry, that. what what is Starfield? Is this a sequel? Is this a No, this thing? is a new IP. So basically it's, you've got the post-apocalyptic RPG, 
and then the fantasy RPG in Fallout and Skyrim. They're kind of similar games, similar mechanics, and then Starfield is the sci-fi space one. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we know what Bethesda Game Studios is doing, and it's not Fallout 5 for at least five or six years, let's be honest. Really? You reckon? Oh, definitely. I don't think Starfield will come out till two years. Elder Scrolls 6 is probably 2023, 20, 24. That's mad, because I feel like... I feel like Elder Scrolls and Fallout. I mean, we've just had Fallout 76, but that's not a main series game, is it? No, it's a game at the service. When did Fallout 4 come out? 2016. End of 2016. And when did um, Skyrim came out? Years ago. 2011. Yeah, surely with everyone's long I know they keep remastering it and putting it on different platforms and stuff but surely the Elder Scrolls fanboys are crying oh they are, they are but they've got Starfield first okay so well we'll see we'll uh, keep you posted on that I guess but it doesn't look like it's coming to Switch which I'm really disappointed in so sorry what is your prediction for this rumour because I haven't got a fucking clue <laughs> it's definitely I think it's Fallout 3 remaster a remaster of Fallout 3 which okay. you heard it here one of my favourite games and he didn't I sort of read it somewhere but one of my favourite games of all time. They might have heard it here first. Possibly. You might have read it elsewhere. That's true. Oh, semantics. Yeah. I'm sorry, Fallout 3. So what are your favourite games? One of my favourite games. I don't think I'd get this, though. I didn't get the Skyrim okay. remaster. If it came to Switch, I'd be all over that. Like a bad well, rash. Okay. Well, you never know. Yeah. Sorry, but Bethesda games in general don't really interest me. Well... On that note, I know, I know that they're, they're good, good games, games but Sebi yeah. from the Webby in April won't be Sebi from the Webby. He'll be Sebi sitting right here, and we're going to be doing April. a Bethesda special. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait for that. Yeah. All right. This is the last rumor we've got going around. Mm. So we had that. I think one of our first episodes we had like. Um, the, all these uh, tech companies mm-hmm. saying they're going to be doing like a streaming service. Like I think Amazon, oh, and yeah, like yeah. Apple, and because I completely got it wrong, and I thought you meant stuff like Twitch. Yeah. What you actually mean is when you play games from a server. Yes, learning every day, learning constantly, always something new. Uh, so this sort of stems from that with Google. Um, Apparently, they're going to be announcing something at GDC, which is the Game Developers Conference, mm-hmm. uh, towards the end of March, um, that they're actually going to be releasing a box, like a game console, rather than... Really? Like, uh, just because they've got the Assassin's Creed Odyssey thing that runs on Google Chrome, which is crazy. Yeah, so everyone that's thought insane. that's how it was going down. Mm. But turns out they're actually going to be sort of releasing a physical box. I presume it's not going to have discs or anything, but I don't know. Maybe that helps the speed of the streaming. Yeah, yeah probably. But I mean, the last thing that I remember doing this was the fucking like OUYA or the online or maybe whatever. Maybe it will be on live. Sorry. On li- oh my god! Yeah, on live. That was like I remember that ahead of its time, but also mm. like it's like doing. It's like when uh, Nintendo tried to do VR like 30 years ago. Yeah. It was like... They were just... Yeah. I mean, ahead of their time, but not in a good way. Yeah. Like, they, they thought it ahead. Work. They were like, oh, this will be a great idea in the future, but we don't have the internet yeah. for that. Even Maybe now. this Amazon thing will be the gaming equivalent of what the Fire Stick was. Because that's essentially a small box that you can watch, that you can stream any TV from. Yeah. Before it became, you know, integrated to most things. Maybe that's what this will be. I guess it's just a being a box, so they've got like a some kind of hard drive. Maybe you can. Maybe there's a downloading element to it. Like you can download the games if you're in, that's not good enough. Maybe that's sort of one way they're getting around it. Probably. But apparently, so they're jumping into the um, games industry, which I think has been a rumor for a long time. But now like it's actually got like a. It's only a matter of time, really, before Amazon just. Mm. Uh, in charge of every aspect of our lives, really. Amazon and Google are pretty much going to run everything eventually, aren't they? Yeah, I guess so. But I feel like it's kind of inevitable. Yeah. It's going to be interesting to see. I think... I don't really know how I feel about it, to be honest, because I feel like we've we've got three standout game 
console companies, haven't we? Yeah. In yeah. Nintendo, yeah. Microsoft, and Sony, and whatever. Do do we need this? Where, is it it's actually? Bad. Is no. it commercially? Is this is this a good move for Amazon commercially? Let's Google. Sorry, Google. I, yeah, because I said Amazon a minute ago. D- yeah, do we need this? Probably not. But then again, it depends what the price point is. If this is like a yeah. hundred quid thing, and like yeah. you're getting, and it, like perhaps this is streaming, so you'll never need to upgrade the hardware. This is like the, your box for life kind of thing. Yeah. Maybe that's how they're going a bit. But I'm sort of with you. I don't think anyone can. I think it's really I have to take something really special to enter like quite in a step for like the last three or four generations it's been Nintendo Xbox PlayStation yeah like Sega have fallen apart and then oh yeah who Sega else have you had out. like what the last one was Sega Dreamcast and then it's been all Nintendo Microsoft mm. and uh, Sony lit- literally isn't anything else so I don't think it's as easy as it would be like oh, apart from the the, the soldier box Oh, which I don't know what it's called. Like a Nintendo emulator, anyway. Yeah, cheeky bastard. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, so we had uh, Ouya tens. and On Live. Mm. That's about it. None of them have really yeah. broken anything into the industry. Well, actually, they've both gone out of business. Yeah, so they have. I mean, Google won't. I hope. Google, yeah. yeah, Google's one of those companies that will now just be around forever. Um, yeah. Do they need to do this? I don't know. We'll see. I guess. That's. Probably a good rumour to sort of... That is the last rumour, right? That is the last rumour. Yeah, probably a good one to end on because I would say it's the least interesting. In this, It's also, I think, the least... Why is it the least plausible? Um, I feel like... I think the least plausible is Game Pass coming to Switch. It, it makes sense, but I feel like that's where the rumours come from, that it makes sense. Like, well, Not that it makes sense, but it's kind of like... It's kind of a bit of a fantasy, but then the Xbox and Nintendo are playing so nice together. Mm. That it seems like a lot of work to make that happen because you've then got to port the games for Switch. Mm. Because let's face it, the hardware is going to be. Well, totally that's the thing. Different. It's it's supposedly that on the Switch it's going to be just streaming, mm. so you don't need any hardware upgrades to stream. You just no, need a I mean, good the, internet. The game itself will presumably run on an Xbox engine. Which then won't work on a Switch, or is that not how the technology? I don't think that's how it works. Because oh. in Japan, you can run Oz Odyssey on Switch. Oh, it's just it's outrageous. Because then, like on that the Vita, you can run. I mean, feasibly, you can run any PS4 game. You just need a really good internet connection with remote play. Mm-hmm. Um, that's also just ridiculous. The Vita is is I gotta be honest, it's pretty underrated, isn't it? Oh, so well, underrated. Maybe not underrated, but it's underutilized. The only problem is, is oh, I hate to get into the Vita, but why did they not do R two L two? Yeah, oh, yeah. So when you're playing on, uh, like I think I messed around with it a couple of times, and I was like playing GTA five while in bed, and I was like, oh, this is sick. And then like R two and L two are the two sides of the butt back touchpad. It was uh, horrible. I hated oh god, it. that's pretty grim. Yeah, I mean, at least it wasn't as bad as the PSP, where it was like press left to aim down sights. Yeah, at least the PSP got plenty of games, and the Vita didn't. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah. Anyway, nice rumors. I like that. Yeah. I'm oh, still... actually, I just remembered something. Oh yeah. The real, the one issue that I I saw a, a picture of with uh, Nintendo and Xbox crossing paths is they're gonna have to do a lot of work remaking the the icons that pop up on the screen like press x to open this chest Shit, yeah because completely different control schemes. it's a b x y on both consoles but I mean, all in is. different ways yeah xbox is a is at the bottom i don't know i think a is no that's nintendo Wait, wait, wait. Let me look up. Nint- a Nintendo is of... is A B is X and circle, and then X Y is square and triangle. I think, isn't it? Yeah, anyway, not, not not particularly integral to the to the room, no, but still an interesting. I did used to have an Xbox, so yeah. So A is at the bottom, B on the right, X on the left, Y on the top on an Xbox controller. Yeah. Is and that then, what I just said, or did I just get the wrong way around? Well, we can listen back. Actually, on a, on a Nintendo, isn't B lower than A? Yeah, B is at the bottom. Yeah, which. Throws me off well, every single exactly. time. Exactly, that's the problem because <laughs> yeah. I, I, where, when was I? 
I was on with you and I was playing something the other day and I kept on um, pressing back because on like Nintendo no. where circle is um, where circle is that's always been like X like what the X button would do like accept is where mm-hmm. the circle is so the A button on Nintendo um, and then there was sort of like a bit of a hangover on PlayStation it was PlayStation Classic I was playing with Aaron actually in a loading bar in oh, Shepherd's loading Bush bar. and I kept on pressing like so I was like right I'm going to get it right this time I'm going to press circle to accept and then I'd like press X and it would go back and it was just <laughs> really confusing because I'm so used to the triangle is back X is well, no on that actually, wait, I was going to say yeah I was going to say isn't that a weird, weird thing how in our youth triangle was always back and then we got to sort of PS3 era and suddenly circle became back which, which I, I think, think is that what the button was meant to initially signify. Yeah. So isn't that weird? Yeah, buttons are weird. I just think, yeah, that... Why, you why does Triangle that? always enter the car? Or, or get on the horse, yeah. <laughs> I guess it's probably because GTA did it and it's... Oh, they do, they do have meanings, don't they? They all, like, signify something. Do they? Yeah, they... Oh, play, let's, let's just give this a quick go. Talk amongst yourselves, everyone. Let's be honest, though. Let's get real here. The PlayStation controller has by far the best buttons. Circle, triangle, it's not cross, it's X, and square well, you, are yeah, but also, so much better than A, B, and X, Y. They are. Because they're colour signified. I mean, Xboxes are as well. But when sometimes, like especially when I first got my Switch, and I'd be like, which one's B? I'd look down at it, and it'd be like, oh, there's B and A and stuff. But like you can sort of instantly tell on a PS4 controller where everything is because yeah you can letters true. Uh, shapes are easier to remember than numbers because that's how babies learn that's very true um, I was also going to say something when you were mid sentence then and I forgot and now I can't read this article because my um, glasses are miles away and this also isn't giving me the answers but um, what did you just say oh yeah X X is not cross I agree and also um do you know that some, I think it's Americans, call some of them anyway, call square box? Ugh. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, as long as, if they call like circle O, mm. like triangle so, oh, uterus or something. I think I've heard that. I think the, the first time, oh, here we go. The circle and the cross. <laughs> represent yes shut and up, no. Wikipedia. Represent yes and no respectively. Well, that's wrong straight away because X is usually yes and circle is no. Yeah, that's what they've just right. said. The triangle oh, symbolizes no. a point symbolizes a point of view, which kind of makes sense. Entering a car, your view changes or whatever. And the square is equated to a sheet of paper used to access menus. Okay. Which I'm trying to think of what square does. Well, squares attack. Reload. Yeah, reload attack. Oh, I don't know. I... It's sort of weird how that standardized sort of control yeah. system has come along. I mean, we're talking about going back to 1994 also, now. Bring back. The start button. No, I like I like sharing options because options is basically start and select rolled into one. Yeah, but what annoys me the most is that options is like the menu, and then you press that fuck off massive D pad always to bring up the map and inventory and shit. I hate that D pad thing. Not D pad, the, the touch, touch pad. pad. Yeah, yeah. The only reason I like it is when I'm typing. It's really good for typing. Oh, I don't think I've ever used it for Have you typing. Not? No. It's so much easier. It's what, actually like really a, accurate. Like a laptop touchpad. Yeah, and you click yeah. it for a Yeah. It's really good. Nah, I'm I'm really quick with just the D pad and X. Like oh, really scarily quick. Do you ever see the sweat Xbox uh keyboard? <laughs> oh that you could plug into the bottom. Oh, that was disgusting. Absolutely that. vile. Gross. Alright, how much time have we got left? About ten minutes or so. Yeah, ten minutes. So right. I, I, well, I think I was... that was a good chat on rumours. We sort of covered That was. What we if, were talking if you, about. Um, if you've heard any rumours uh, that you think are interesting enough that maybe we should have mentioned them, then feel free to get in touch. You can tweet us at Top Chat Podcast or uh, head over to YouTube. Again, Top Chat Podcast, you'll probably find us. Uh, and leave a, leave a nice little comment and just say, yeah. why didn't you talk about the fact that Sony's CEO has uh, two dicks? Just something. have some interaction. Hate yeah. on us. Oh, please don't hate on us. Well, I, don't really I kind of want to keep that 100% like ratio. Um, so we decided earlier, we do actually, don't we? 
we decided earlier that um because we knew this was this episode was going to come up somewhat short which it kind of hasn't but still um in terms of length by the way not not quality of course quality is always oh, it's top notch um we decided sorry were you gonna <laughs> You just went, oh, it's been oh, fantastic. Yeah, that's excellent. Bloody terrific. Um, I was going to do a memory card, and I thought of the game, um, and then I did a bit of research into it to try and remind myself about the game, because obviously the point of memory card is that we talk about old games um, from our youth that we look back fondly on. And for whatever reason, I wanted to talk about The Incredibles on PS2, which, did you have that? No, but my next door neighbour did. It I was, remember playing it. Yeah, it was it was back in the days of like when movie tie-ins weren't Lego games. Weren't, yeah, they they weren't Lego games, and they weren't quite yet soulless. Like they were all always they weren't great games, but they they weren't shockingly awful. And I, I remember because you were young. Well, no, but I've just like on the little research I've just done going back through it, it's rated quite highly. Like it's not, it wasn't panned. Like you would expect, maybe like 2010's Harry Potter tie-in or whatever would have just been an absolute shit, like just terrible, whatever it would have been, you know. But um, because this is going back to what 2004, 2005, and I remember I got The Incredibles on PS2 because I had a day off school sick, and my stepdad when playing my uh, playing truant as I always did because I was such a such a naughty boy. Yeah, yeah. playing um, Incredibles too. Oh, Incredibles, Incredibles one, yeah. I remember he came back from work um, via the shop in Portsmouth called Ross Records, which is basically like a CEX but independent. And yeah, he bought me The Incredibles on PS2, which was great because I didn't have it, but bad because I hadn't yet seen the film. Um, oh. But I couldn't help myself and I played it. But I seem to remember that a lot of the game wasn't that linked to the film like it was it was pretty much the same plot of like you got to stop syndrome from mm. doing the naughty stuff and he has the robot that kind of looks like um dr octopus from spider-man but as a ball you know with like the tentacles yeah. and shit it had all of that but i just remember i can't remember even what it was you were talking about because it's what an hour and a half ago now but for some reason you you said something and it made me think of this level in the incredibles 2 where you play as dash and you've got to race the school bus to school because he misses it and it always, like, I couldn't get past it. Well, it was what I was saying I was, couldn't beat this fucking level. Because I, I thought of two games that have popped into my head the other day for my future memory cards. Mm. Um, that I haven't really got much to say about because I, I've probably played them, like, 20 years ago now. Mm. And I, I couldn't remember their names. I had to, like, type in on YouTube or Google. I was like, blah, 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 sort of game describing it very loosely and like mm. eventually i found gameplay and i was like oh my god i remember this but i probably never got past the first levels and that's what i was yeah. saying just like that that little bit of like a, a flashback to like a little icon like that's a really yeah yeah really remember that and right. actually i do remember the incredibles game mm. i said my neighbor had it and i've got a feeling i'm not sure if just because i was on the first level when he played it but it was a lot of the game seemed to be set in that f- like a uh, prologue of the yeah, thing where you're like back in the 50s bef- like uh well not the 50s but yeah i know what you mean when Before... mr incredible is Solo. single that's yeah. the i can't think Solo, of it. single you yeah, either way i think no, you were right super jumping a lot in certain like yeah. circle spots on the building i think you could yeah something well like i that. think the first two levels were kind of um tied in with the film where it was like you stop the bank job that, that guy who just looked like, like a, a bon voyage. Voyage. yeah but that's actually his name isn't it, it? Is. Bon voyage um you do that with Frozo. okay you do that with this, this guy's a big fan um and then the next level or maybe it was the same level had something to do with like a burning building and you have to rescue someone i remember them sorry i remember those two levels very clearly and also the the level with dash racing the school bus and then i don't really remember like I vaguely remember, like, I know it happened, the bits where, like in the film, they go to Syndrome's Island and whatever. But then, when I was doing the research, on, well, not research, when I was just reminding myself of the game a minute ago, because literally all I could think of was the opening level and Dash's one, because I couldn't ever bloody do it. Um, I was just reading up some, like, facts and stats on the game. And you know, Little Jack, or Jack Jack, whatever he's called, yeah. the baby that turns into a demon and breathes fire and whatever shit, is not in the game at all, and is never mentioned. <laughs> 
even though it's like a movie tie-in, so he should be there. Budget cuts. Um, and it also said that they're all four of the rest of the family, so obviously Violet, um, Dash, and then Mr. and Mrs. Incredible, all four of them have like levels within the game. But I'm bugged if I can remember any of Mrs. Incredible's. I feel like I can. I can. I can remember Violet's one when you creep through the forest because I was sort of like the jungle, whatever. Because obviously she goes invisible. And I can remember Dash's, as I've said, and I can remember Mr. Incredible's, as I said, but I cannot remember a single one of Helen Parr's levels. That's just popped into my head. No, well, I, I I never played the full game because it wasn't mine. I think I finished but, it. I'm not sure. Uh, movie times. I always remember every single movie time game I ever had. I always got stuck on a certain bit, and then the next mm. time I trotted down to Game Station, they were in my trading pile, yeah. a stack of like ten games to get about fifty p. I remember trading the latest in FIFA. <laughs> I remember trading in um, PlayStation Two, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, because it was awful. Like, e- even as like a twelve, thirteen year old, I knew. This game is shit. Everyone knows the best Harry Potter game. We're not including the Lego ones. I haven't played those. Chamber of Secrets. Uh, I, I think the only ones I have are Prisoner of Azkaban and then Goblet of Fire. Never completed it, but that was definitely that was a game I always went back to. Philosopher's Stone was actually really good. And they had a character in the game that never featured in the movies but does in really? the books. Yeah. Peas. Uh, Peas, yeah. How do you, are, are you proud of me for that? You, a little, little flash, flash in your eyes there. Yeah. Well, it's just because I know that he's not in the films, which yeah. is just shocking. So, I, I mean, mean, I should know. I've got Harry Potter tattoos. I just always remember, like, Flippendo was one of his spells. Mm. But you could, like, oh, yeah. you um, map spells to, like, circle, X, triangle, square. It's really mm. cool. Because you could, like, there was loads of different spells you could have. Defendo! I just remember the Goblet of Fire the AI because it was meant to be played co-op but uh, obviously unless you have someone or you know multiple people to play it with you were relying on usually Ron and Hermione to not be complete cretins but they just were constantly like they were like Ron would just block doorways and you couldn't do anything and then they'd just be like shouting like come on Harry yeah yeah (laughs) Harry come on it's just like you're fucking in my way yeah, and you're just, just like, like there, like spelling, spelling him, just like you're just hitting him with aguamento. There used to be <laughs> one happening. I think it was like cause you used to be able to charge up spells, and it was like a scissor cutting spell, and you used to be able to like knock people over with that. And number two it was really good. <laughs> All I can think though is just come on, Harry, <laughs> sending shivers down my spine. <laughs> but thinking about <laughs> Harry Potter games, this is this isn't a tangent. We're on movie times, okay? So well, we're meant to be doing a memory card. You, we're kind of doing it. Yeah, we're kind of. We're, yeah, we're, we're, taking, we're taking a wander down memory lane. We are. We're, we're having a rummage through the memory card. Yeah, exactly. Seeing, Seeing what's saved. saved. Yes. Oh, I'd love to get my own memory card. Back. I would love to as well. I, I know where they are. I haven't got my Maybe I'll look this anymore. weekend. Um, so the game that I always wanted on Xbox 360 was... Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Right. Because that was the last one that was like set in Hogwarts. So this last one when you're at school. And I think maybe Order of the Phoenix had been on Xbox as well. But Half-Blood Prince like was on Xbox 360. Like amazing graphics at the time. It was like Hogwarts in HD. And I was like, I want to be in this world. It was sort of like free roam-ish. Like you can go around the castle. And you're like, oh, I've got class to go to. And I was like, oh, that's the Harry Potter game I want. <laughs> But I've never got it. Yeah. yeah. Maybe, it is, maybe I'll get it one day. On it Xbox Game Pass on the Nintendo Switch. Yeah. But it is genuinely mad to think that there isn't like a triple A Harry Potter game. Like they made a coming, I know it's coming, supposedly, but like I feel like it's too little too late. Well not too little too late, but it's just too late. Because I mean let's face it, the Harry Potter hype train is not in the station, station. <laughs> to, to, to try, try and extend this metaphor it's, it's not a platform nine it's, it's probably a platform one and a qu- nine and a quarter oh it's gone backwards it's, it's well, I feel, well, well i mean it's not I it's I, like, i'm in two minds about it because it's it's, it's going to be this like never-ending thing, thing. And I, th- I think actually daniel radcliffe said recently that they're all going to he thinks they're going to get rebooted which i think they will as well especially given that universal studios has just dumped millions of dollars into the um 
the expansions of the theme parks, mm. which are, by the way, incredible. I've been to one. Have you? The I one, went to the one in Japan, yeah. Mm. Osaka. The, Osaka. Osaka, yeah. the ones in, I can only speak for the ones in Florida, but Diagon Alley and um, Hogsmeade are just astounding. Yeah, I didn't get to go to Diagon Alley. There wasn't, there wasn't there, but I was at Hogsmeade. It was sick. I got picked in the... Uh, in the um, Ollivander's shop to wave the wand around. Oh my god, of course you did. Oh, you probably so shat cr- your pants. Oh, I was like, it was so cringy because mm. I was in front of loads of Japanese people and I was like, thanks, put me on. Put on. <laughs> yeah, but inside you were probably crying. Um, bit of a tangent there, but yeah, Incredibles on PS2 was quite fun. Yeah, I, I think, love to I actually, remember. That's a good episode, I reckon. Let's this look back actually, at movie times. Movie times, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, probably should have done it a few weeks ago when Spider-Man was... Wait, when did Spider-Man come out? That was... No, was that last year? Not October. Oh, yeah. We, we would have been well late anyway. Well, I'm, who cares about being late? I'm getting uh, Spider-Man probably soon. And, I'm and looking you've just to, finished Life is Strange. I'm so. looking for something to... Yeah. Mm. You never know. I'll complete Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince soon. Yeah. Um, well, all right. Do you want to drop a yeah. controversial Let's corner? Let's round then. off this very late night episode. What, what are you looking at? Oh my god, it's twenty to two. Yeah. What What are you looking at on your? your oh, I, w- I thought I was going to get up my controversial opinion on my laptop, but I realised it's not on there. All right, so you're just going to drop it like the oh, bombshell that it drop is. Drop it like it's hot. Well, actually, I've got a few to choose from. Okay, just just the one today, please. <sighs> Give me a second. Take too much. You're going to pick which one you think yeah. is. Let's most... stay a bit on topic. Okay. This one's. It's not a most controversial thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I know that Seb would probably be a bit <sighs> don't upset our most loyal no. fan so Fallout 3 is by far the better game over Fallout New Vegas there you go mm. which is not too controversial but I was going to say to you I wonder what happen- What will happen the day that one of us drops a controversial corner and we agree no. But I'm not saying I agree because I don't know anything about either game. But that's as close as we've got so far, where I've had literally no reaction because I don't know. Any. I think that is a bit controversial because New Vegas, New Vegas, to me, always feels like the golden child. I think it's held in a higher regard because it was made by the original Fallout creators. It's a truer RPG. Yeah. Uh, whatever. I didn't like it. Well, we'll see how that Last goes down. About half an hour in the game, and then I was like, "Here you go, Seb. Do you want to play this?" And he was like, "Yeah, I love it." We'll, we'll see how that goes down with the boy. So he's the coming boy. on in April. Yeah, lovely stuff. Well, we look forward to that. Um, so keep your ears peeled. I swear I do that every week. I just like, <laughs> peeled. Yeah, my ears peeled once. Got sunburnt ears. Oh, always. It's always a place I forget. Once. And I always have a hat on as well, so they're always exposed. I never use sun cream, but it happened one year that I got peeling ears, so my ears were kept peeled. Well, well you're like usually well. you're usually sunburned the download, like on your cheeks. It was download. All oh, right, well there you go. That's a, yeah, but I sound like pass out in a field and just mm. get a heat stroke. That's kind of the point, though, isn't it? Yeah, that's all the fun of the fair. Down Madrid, Madrid this year. year. Am I right? Possibly, but we've got to think of our viewers first and foremost. We this can do is a podcast in Madrid because it's not an outdoor festival, so we'll presumably be in indoor. Para podcast, por favor. Nailed it. A table for podcast, please. Yeah, we I mean, that. yeah, we do need a table. We're on one right now. Oh yeah, actually, we're right at the end, so there's not many people probably still listening. But we will just apologise for the fact that last week I was a complete tool and kept touching my microphone every five seconds, so all you could hear was. Boop, 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 boop. And uh, you were a bit echoey, weren't you? Yeah, but I think I think we've done it. I think we've got the sound quality now. Can you imagine after all the tests we did earlier? If oh, I listen to this back in a minute tests. and it sounds like shit, I'm gonna cry. Yeah, but it, it won't. It won't. It'll be perfect. But on that note, if you have made it this far, thanks very much as always for listening. Do share it with your friends and with your mum and with your nan and your nan because we insist <laughs> for some reason that you they've do. still got their ways. They're they're still interested oh, I maintain n- that they're Nintendo Wii's right. <laughs> I was so confused what the fuck's still got their catheters it's, <laughs> it's late you'll have to let me off um, but thanks everyone we'll see you next week unless we do Topinions 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 I'm already saying it like Top a shit onions. Top Onions thanks very much good b- goodbye no I don't like that that's not original bye for now
by four now. <laughs> I'd give anything for that to be on video. There was there was like a, a little phones for you kind of hand gesture thing and then a dab. And we end it there. Bye for now. <laughs>